Hello! Good evening po sa bawat isa. Ako po Sister Eres at ako po ang naka-assign na mag-share ng Word of God ngayon pong ating midweek service. Isang magandang araw po sa lahat ng nanonood, uh, hindi lamang po sa ROG Marilaw, kundi alam ko po marami rin po tayong mga members ng ating pong church na nakakapanood ng online services po natin sa Canada, sa US, even po sa Singapore at sa Japan. At sa iba pa pong parte ng mundo na maaring makarating po ang link na ito, isang pinagpalang araw po.
sa inyong lahat. At uh, bago po tayo mag-start, gusto ko po tayo ay yumuko at manalangin at hingin po natin ang banal na presensya ng ating pong Panginoon. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. We adore you, Father. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the Prince of Peace, O God. That is who you are, Lord. You are our way maker, our miracle worker, our promise keeper, O God. Panginoon, salamat po o Diyos sa gabing ito na dinako mo po kami, O Lord, to be together again. You said in your word, if there's two or more gathering in your presence, you are there. Lord, kahit po kami ay hindi po physically nag-gather ngayong gabing ito, O Lord, I know that as spiritually, Panginoon, you are in our hearts, O Lord. Father God, I pray na patawarin niyo po kami, aming Diyos, sa lahat po na aming pong nagawang pagkakamali, Panginoon. Kung nag po namin ng Holy Spirit, we ask for forgiveness, O Lord, and we ask, O God, for the cleansing, O Lord, that comes from your blood, O Jesus. Panginoon, pinagpe ko po, O Lord, na sa gabing ito, sa aming pong mensaheng ibinaba mo, Panginoon, through me, I pray that, they may, that these words may be used, O God, uh, by your brethren, O Lord. And God, I pray that you sanctify these words. I know, God, that truly that this message, Lord, comes from you alone. And God, you are the... Uh, may you be the center, O Lord, of this message. Ito po ang aming, aming samo at dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Muli po, uh, ako po ay nagagalak na mag-share po ng Word of God sa midweek na ito. Ang title po ng ating pong uh, topic ay Vessel of Vision. Ano po ba yung word na vessel? Uh, it can ha- it has a lot of meaning actually. Pwede po siyang maging ship or boat. But uh, pwede rin po siyang maging container or any form of uh, rounded stuff na pwede po kayo maglagay doon. It doesn't matter kung plastic siya, babasagin siya, or gawa siya sa wood as long as it can hold something. Uh, in sa dictionary po, most likely liquid. Pero ang ating pong topic ngayon, which is called, uh, which I personally titled uh, The Vessel of Vision, is uh, about us spiritually, kung paano po tayo magiging container or magiging um, sanctuary of visions. So, when I was in high school po sa JIL, yung aming pong um, newspaper, sa uh, high school newspaper po namin, ang pangalan po ay The Visionary. So, ever since po, nung, since I'm 13 years old, first year high school, yung word po na visionary, meron na po siyang... Uh, kumbaga, I like that word. Bakit? Kasi it sounds very positive, it sounds very futuristic, parang napaka yung goal-oriented. But, uh, misan po, iniisip natin that the vision is a man-made talent or yung ating capability that uh, what is your vision? For example, ang lahat po ng mga company, meron pong goals and visions. So, most of the time, uh, kami po dito sa office, ngayon pong gabi, nasa office ako, dito po ako nagre-record. We have a vision to be the number one uh, software development company in the Philippines, in Southeast Asia, or even in the world. So, most of the time po yung vision is something that is highly... Uh, may probability po na, yes, you can achieve your vision, but sometimes it's too high na yung pong ibang company e eh, napaka-unrealistic ng kanila mga vision. So, tonight po, ang topic natin about the vessel of vision is not something that is man-made capability. Ang, ang gusto ko pong i-discuss natin sa gabing ito ay yung vision that comes from the Word of God. So, ang sabi po sa uh, nabasa ko, to have a proper understanding of vision, we must have a proper understanding of God. 
So, it's impossible po na maintindihan natin kung ano yung vision kung hindi po tayo connected sa pagtadasal, sa pagpipre, sa pagbabasa ng Bible, or even po sa pakikipag-communicate po natin sa ating pong mga kasama sa simbahan, sa ating pong family members, because there are many ways of how our vision can be uh, uh, manipulated or can uh, encompass us uh, as a person. Um, so, tonight, I'm going to share po uh, Four S para po how we can achieve to be a vessel of vision. Paano po tayo magiging as a Christian as we walk through this uh, life, as a creating pong path, as a Christian life, how to become a vessel of vision. So, ang una po ay ang stand. So, sa Habakkuk po, pag pumunta po kayo sa Habakkuk 2, I'm going to read it po sa ating pong uh, NIV version. Ang sabi po ni um, Prophet Habakkuk, so hindi po siya masyadong sikat. Actually, yung pong Habakkuk is only three pages sa uh, Old Testament. Pero once you go through the book, uh, makita niyo po doon na Habakkuk is a, is a man of, uh, yung emotion niya po, he's, he says it hindi niya tinatago. Kung baga, I said, Lord, how long are you going to keep these people? Hanggang kailan mo hayaan tong mga taong to gumawa ng masama? Kung baga, sinasabi niya sa Lord yung kanyang nararamdaman. And, um, ito po yung sinabi niya sa Habakkuk 2. Kung may time po kayo, basahin niyo po yung Habakkuk 1. But I, will, I want to take the excerpt this message from Habakkuk 2. Ang sabi po dito, I will stand at my watch and station myself on the ramparts. I will look to see what he will say to me and what answer I am to give to this complaint. So, ay ibig po sabihin na I will stand at my watch and station myself on the ramparts. Nakakita na po ba kayo ng ramparts? Ang ramparts po ay para siyang uh, fortress. Yung pong, imagine the, the walls of Great Wall. Yung pong sa Beijing, yung malaking walls niya. Yung po yung sinasabing ramparts. Okay? So, si ko ang sabi niya, I will stand at my watch and station myself on the ramparts. Tatayo ako sa station ko at titingnan ko kung ano yung nangyayari and i will look to see what he will say to me okay i will stand ibig sabihin magpe-prepare ako hindi lang ako basta-basta magpe-prepare sa gilid or sa likod or sa uh, sa, sa, sa sulok ang sabi niya i will stand at my watch and station myself on the ramparts bakit ko po pinauulit-ulit to kasi importante po yung positioning natin sa pagkakaroon natin ng vision when we ask the lord for vision we must be ready we must stand up and watch and see and hear and look what the lord will say to me ang sabi po sa habakkuk 2 uh, sa susunod po na verse then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. Sabi po ni Lord, Write down the revelation. Isulat daw po. So once you receive the vision from the God and uh, nareceive mo na no, yung vision mo, you have to write down. So, ang sabi po dito, and make it plain on tablets. So, it's probably, you know, yung, yung mga stones. Kasi that's what what they used before noong pong uh, first uh, generations. So, right now, all we have is a notebook. A piece of notebook like this. Ayan po ang mga sulat ko. Puno-puno po yan ng uh, erasures. Pero ang sabi po, Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets. So, it's very important po for us, for us to become a vessel of vision. Once we receive the vision through our standing up, or it's just a way of uh, waiting, be ready. Uh, parang uh, sa militare, you have to, you know, stand up and be ready for that uh, position. So, it's important to write the vision. Bakit po? Una-una po sinabi po ni Lord na 
right down the revelation. So, paano po ba tayo magkakaroon ng vision? Minsan po, nagpe-pray tayo na, Lord, bigyan mo ako ng vision. What do you want me to say? Or what do you want me to do? What kind of uh, future? I want to see, I want to receive the vision. Pero hindi naman po tayo nagsispend ng time to write it down. We watch too much Netflix or maybe nagpi-play po tayo ng uh, games. Actually, I'm not supposed to talk po ngayong gabing to. Kaya lang po na nag-back out po yung ating pong, uh, schedule speaker. Kaya tumawag po si Pastor LV sa akin na nak, sabi niya, baka pwede ikaw yung mag-share. Uh, Nung pong Saturday, bago po sa aming pong music ministry, na-share ko po itong party na to of writing the vision. Kaya po, sabi ko sa mami ko, kay Pastor LV, okay, sige, I'll try to come up with something. So, partially po, nung sinabi ko nung last Saturday, eh, eto na po yon yung sinasabi ko po ngayon. So, sabi ko po sa mga member po ng music team, if we don't have, if we don't spend time, praying, writing down our visions, what do you, what, what, what think will happen? Di ba po ang sabi po sa Proverbs, uh, without the vision, the people will perish. Kaya po, it's very important, as a Christian, magkaroon po tayo ng vision. And that vessel of vision, we can have it by standing and by writing down. Okay? Susunod po, Uh, isa po ito sa isa kong favorite na prophet, si Prophet Nehemiah. So, the, nec- the next S will be soak. S-O-A-K. Nung pong meron pa po tayong soaking sa galeria, I know that some of you nagpupunta po doon and you like uh, attending there kasi paglabas nyo, sobrang puspos na puspos kayo, hindi ba? Enjoy na enjoy kayo sa presence ni Lord. So, ang sabi po dito sa Nehemiah 1 verse 4. They said to me, Those who survived the exile and are back in the province are in great trouble and disgrace. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down, and its gates have been burned with fire. When I heard these things, I sat down and wept. This is Nehemiah po thinking, uh, uh, writing down this passage. For some days I mourned, and fasted, and prayed before the God of heaven. So, yung pong word na soaking, ibig sabihin po na sa Tagalog, hindi po ba babad. So, tayo po, kung gusto po natin magkaroon ng vision, we have to soak in the presence of the Lord. So, pwede pong through prayer, reading the Bible, or through gathering po, pwede pong through our uh, life group uh, meetings. Alam ko po, meron po kayong mga life group. So, that's part of soaking in the presence of God. Ipagpatuloy po natin. So, ang sabi po dito sa, continue po sa verse 5. Then I said, Lord, the God of heaven, the great and awesome God, who keeps His covenant of love with those who love Him and keep His commandments. Let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer your servant is praying before you day and night for your servants. The people of Israel. Sabi dito, God, God, if, I, if this is Nehemiah, please, please listen. Let your ear be attentive and your eyes open so that you may hear the prayer of your servant, which we ask for you day and night. Ito po si Nehemiah, sinasabi niya, uh, I confess the sins we Israelites, including myself and my father's family, have committed against you. We have acted very wickedly toward you. We have not obeyed the command, decrees, and laws you gave your servant Moses. So si Nehemiah, hindi lang po siya nagsusok no, sa presence ni God. He is also repenting. Nagre-repent po siya. Sinasabi niya, patawarin niyo po kami sa lahat po na aming mga wicked ways towards you. Hindi po kami sumunod sa mga commands niyo. Yung pong mga binigay niyo po sa aming pong uh, ninuno na si Moses, hindi po namin yung sinunod. And Lord, we ask for your forgiveness. So as we soak and try to be in the presence of the Lord, Let's all try and always repent. Repent, repent, repent. Minsan po uh, ako, personally, minsan meron po akong bagay na ang bilis ko mainis. 
makita ko lang po yung taong yun, ay inis na ako, o pag may nakita akong post na parang ang OA, or parang too much, I confess, Lord, sorry po, forgive me po. Ah, hindi po tayo perfecto, no? So, these kind of emotions are normal. Kasi po, di ba sabi nga, um, we cannot please anybody or everybody. So, kung sa tingin niyo po, kayo lamang po ay nagkakaroon ng ganitong episode, eh hindi po kayo nag-iisa. Ako po madalas, makita ko po yung post nung dati kong kaklase or nung dati kong kasama sa work, naiinis ako. Ang, parang, I feel like, dapat di mo na sinashare yan or ganon. So, I think sometimes we are becoming judgmental to the point na we, we, kung ayaw makita, di unfollow mo. O kung ayaw mo siya maging friendly, di unfriend mo. Or, wall ngayon, he has all the rights to post whatever he wants or whatever she wants, no? Bakit ko po sinasabi to? Because sometimes the devil is using this kind of platform, yung pong ating social media, or yung even yung ating mga kapitbahay, yung pong aso nila, dumumi sa gate nyo, nainis ka na. So how can you soak in the presence of God kung meron ka mga ganitong feelings na nakakapagbigay ng irritation sa'yo? So if you would notice si Nehemiah, he said, Lord, forgive us. Kasi nagkukumit kami, we confess our sins to you. Very wicked kami toward you. So, in, aside from soaking po, si Nehemiah, he repent and confess his sins. Hindi lang po yung sins niya, yung pong sins ng buong ang kanya, nire-repent niya. So, every day, if you think you committed uh, even a small um, sin, Lord, sorry, forgive me. Nag-judge na naman ako nag assume na naman ako or i over uh, think about myself na naman kasi parang feeling mo hmm, ako hindi ko ginagawa yon ako nako hindi ako hindi ako apektado bahala kayo diyan sometimes this is the things that we say to ourselves pero actually affected ka kasi nga nagre-react ka nga eh di ba so sorry po sa mga tinamaan ako unang-una po tinamaan diyan kasi po uh, i'm being i'm being very transparent po sa inyo because this is this is normal we are human and human are meant to feel this way But because we have a very good father who forgive us, alam niya po na hindi tayo perpekto, napakadali po na lumapit muli sa Panginoon at just say, Sorry Lord, forgive me. Okay, so we are on the third S. Ano po, kayo, ano po kaya yung ating third S? Ang sabi po dito, stop. So the first one po is stand. Number two is uh, soak. Third one po is stop. So... If you have heard po the story about the Moses burning bush, uh, gusto ko pong basahin para po magkaroon po tayo ng uh, memory about that. So, you will find this story about the burning bush on Exodus 3, to 6 Ang sabi po dito, Now, Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the desert and came to Horeb. The mountain of God. There, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So, Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. So, sa verse 4 po, When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush. He said, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, Here I am. Verse 5, Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is a holy ground. Then he said, I am the God your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses He his face because he was afraid to look to God. So, ang dami pong story sa Bible or ang dami pong um, commentary about this uh, particular verse. Iba po, 
and interpret this as a God, as a mysterious God. Ako po, I'd like to inter- uh, interpret this verse. Kung titignan niyo po ang sabi dito, Moses, stop! And uh, meron po ako sinulat dito na explanation ko. Sandali lang po, anapin ko. Ang sabi po dito, He stop to look and to let rest his attention. Sa tingin niyo po kung si Moses po hindi na intriga, hindi huminto, at hindi siya lumapit sa burning bush, sa tingin niyo po ba magkakaroon siya ng burning bush moments? Ano po ibig sabihin ng burning bush moments? When something happened and he stopped, yun po yung burning bush moments niya. Naku, nagkakagulo, may apoy. Pupunta ako doon. I will take a look. I will concentrate. And sometimes, during our burning bush moments, is where the God of heaven or Jesus and the Holy Spirit will speak to us. Minsan, in the midst of chaos, maybe sa family niyo po, meron kayong konting conflict sa office nyo, sa workplace nyo, even sa church, hindi po natin naiiwasan niya. Nagkakaroon po tayo ng conflict. Sometimes, in uh, in that burning bush moments, you can find God. All you have to do is stop. Minsan po, sobrang bilis ng ating pong life, uh, daily activities, na hindi natin naalala mag-stop to pause and to ask the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do? Lord, who do you want me to speak today? Lord, what do you want me to pray? So, ang sabi po dito, sometimes, when you stop and pray, you have to pray until you feel like something is happening. You have to pray long enough until you you feel like something is happening. So, hindi ka lang nag-stop doon at parang nag ka or like Moses. Hindi naman siya nag-stop lang eh. He, he looked and he stopped. And he said, Lord, sabi niya, here I am. Andito po ako. Ano sabi ni Lord sa kanya? Take off your sandals because the place where you are standing is a holy ground. Kung sa tingin niyo po si Moses, nagpunta lang siya doon. At after niya makita na, ah, nasusunog yung bush, bye. I am busy. I have other things to do. Sa tingin niyo po, ma- mamimit niya, ma-encounter niya si God. So what I'm trying to say here po, brothers and sisters, sometimes in the midst of our business, or the conflicts, or the chaos, or if there's anything happening in our lives, ngayon pong pandemic na ito, Sometimes all we have to do is stop and wait for that burning bush moments, no? Let's wait. Lord, where is the burning bush moments, God? Where are you, God? Where, what do you want me to do, God? Do you want me to take my sandals off? Do you want me to let this thing go? Meron ka bang dreams or prayers na you keep on praying and sometimes God doesn't answer right away maybe it's time to let it go maybe it's not the will of God so eto po medyo nag rema sa akin rema means nag strike siya the spoken word of God the, the word of God spoken to me na o oh nga no kung di siya uminto doon he will not encounter God Probably, it's just for him, ah, okay, it's just a piece of bush burning, which is ordinarily. Kaya lang sabi niya, ba't ganun? Sabi niya, itong bush na to nasusunog, pero ay umaapoy, pero hindi nagbaburn up. It means something supernatural is happening. So, again, we have to stand, we have to soak, and we have to stop. And last po, but not the least, di, ito po, kagabi lang po ito dinagdag ni Lord. Actually, uh, last night, I'm supposed to share na po the midweek. Kaya lang po, I had to attend the meeting na inabot na po na hanggang 11. And uh, yung meeting po na yon hindi po naging maganda. 
na hindi po ako nakatulog. Talagang inisip ko po, Lord, what do you want me to do? Sabi ko. Uh, then, fa- suddenly, nag, nag-rema na naman, God speak na naman sa akin, the word still. Sabi po, still, just be still. You know? Let it be. Just still. Hindi mo kailangan mag over analyze ng things. Hindi mo kailangan mag pretend that nothing's going on. Yes, something is wrong. Yes, may sakit si ganon. Yes, merong bill sa meral ko na hindi pa bayad. Yes, baka wala ng laman yung bigasan. But the Lord says, be still. So, ating pong last S for tonight is still. Sabi po sa nabasa ko, when God gives you a vision, He makes a provision. So, kung meron po kayong word or na-visualize na something na like what Pastor Elvis always saying, our vision is to build the church in 2021. Our vision is for each one to bring one. Sabi po, when God gives you a vision, He makes a provision. Hindi ka bibigyan ng Diyos ng vision na hindi ka niya tutulungan. Ng, hindi, ka niya mag, hindi siya magpo-provide doon. So, sabi po, because of this, we must submit to the reality that God will open, that God will have to open certain doors for us along the way. Kung talaga pong doon tayo nililid ni Lord sa vision na yon, I'm sure there is a way. Kasi po, hindi tayo pwedeng bigyan ni Lord ng vision na hindi niya ipoprovide. yung ating pangangailangan. So, sa Colossians 4 po, 3 to 5, ang sabi dito, in message uh, verse, mes- the message Bible, pray diligently, stay alert, with your eyes wide open in gratitude. Don't forget to pray that God will open doors for telling the mystery of Christ. Even while I'm locked up in this jail, pray that every time I open my mouth, I'll be able to make Christ plain as day to them. So, um, si Paul po ito nagsasalita na nakakulong siya, pang, nakakulong siya during this time. Sabi niya po sa iba pong uh, disciple, ipag-pray niyo ko, pray diligently na... Ma- magkaroon ng open doors for telling the mystery of Christ. Okay? Because these visions, to be a vessel of vision is for us to understand the invisible or the supernatural uh, realm. Kasi po, yung vision, hindi po natin siya makukuha by just watching uh, commentary. Opo, maganda po na nanonood po tayo ng mga Uh, other ministers but this is a one-on-one encounter with God Opo. so ang sabi po dito you have to be aware of these moments when God speaks to you out of the supernatural because those are the moments when God is trying to put vision in your lives He is doing so to set you to see beyond what you have always seen in order to see what you have never seen Napakaganda po ng message ni Lord ngayong eh, gabing to. Actually, ang dami ko pong sinulat. Pero, I think, um, sa apat po na letter S na to, eh, nagkaroon po tayo ng reminder that um, God can use anybody to have a vision. Last verse po, dito po sa Joel 2, verse 28 to 32. And afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Uh, that's verse 28 po. So verse 29, Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Verse 30, I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth. blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. 
and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there will be deliverance, as the Lord has said, even among the survivors whom the Lord calls. So, sabi po dito, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. So, wala pong sinabi rito na we have to be strong, fit, young, or uh, beautiful. Wala pong sinabi. Wala pong karak- uh, criteria for us to receive the vision. So, sabi dito, anybody can be the vessel of vision. It can be an old man. It can be young men, it can be sons and daughters. So, wala pong sinabing kailangan meron kang 100,000 sa bangko. Wala pong sinabing ganun. Kailangan meron kang tatlong sakong bigas para magkaroon ka ng vision. All you have to do po is to stand, to soak, to stop, and to be still. Ang prayer ko po sa gabing ito is for all of us. Let us pray, desire, to be the vessel of the vision. When we spend time in prayer, worship, and the Word, God will reveal dreams and visions far greater than you ever imagined. Gusto niyo po ba yun? Ako po gusto ko po yun eh. Gusto ko po na excited ako palagi mag-pray. Lord, as I pray this afternoon or this morning, Lord, gusto ko maging vessel ako ng vision mag- mag- within me, uh, from my mouth, from my hands, from whatever I have, Lord, use this to be a vessel of your vision. Tayo pong lahat ay yumuko at manalangin. Lord, we thank you, God, for the word that you have given to me, Lord, to deliver to your congregation, Lord. Nagpapasalamat po ako, Panginoon, that uh, truly, Lord, your word is alive. And um, I pray, Lord, you said, no eyes has seen, no ears has heard the good that the Lord has prepared for those who wait on Him. Lord, as we continually continues to walk, Lord, in this uh, hard times, Panginoon, I pray that you give us the courage, O Lord, to walk and have faith in you, Lord. Give us the vision, Lord. You said the old men will dream dreams and the young men, Lord, will see visions. Father God, I pray that uh, as we continue, Lord, to walk in our faith in you, Lord, that you help us, O God, to see not only the visible, Lord, but the invisible. Lord, to feel more of your super um, supernatural realm, O oh Lord. God, send us a fire, Lord. Lord, I pray that we may always ask, where do we expand from here? Saan pa tayo lalago? I hope that the next time we pray, we should say, where is the next soul will come from? Saan magmumula? mga kaluluwa. Saan magmumula ang pagpapala na ipagkakalog ng Diyos? I pray, God, that you help us, O God, expand, Lord, our territory. Not only, Lord, for our church, but for our family, Lord. We thank you, God, for the opportunity, Lord, na muli ma-revive yung desire, yung fire, Panginoon, na magkaroon kami, O God, ng visions, Lord. And God, we thank you because I know that this is a gift. And um, we are ready, Lord, to receive this gift, God. We thank you, Father. Salamat po sa patuloy na protection mo sa bawat isa, sa bawat pamilya, Panginoon, ng ROG Marilaw at lahat po ng nakikinig sa gabing ito. I declare blessing. I declare uh, each of us will be a vessel of vision. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you po sa lahat. Salamat po sa lahat. Bye-bye po. God bless us all. Good night.